Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So we are still at Glory right now. It's still owned by Clan Wolf. We were trying to uh, give uh, Steel Vipers some traction here. We had increased their uh, percentage to 6% hold on the planet with the first uh, mission last time. And then by the time we finished the second one, they were back down to 1%. So Wolf has got its stranglehold in this planet. But we are going to take a few more missions here before we leave. So let's have a look at the command center and our contracts. Um, we are going to take the general, and we're going to take that first. Now, we do have a fair bit of uh, sea bills here. I did sell a bunch of stuff. We had a clan XL engine that we don't need because the Omnium XL have them. So I sold that. And we bought a few things, uh, a couple of armored cowls. And I'm going to show you what the new loadouts of our mechs are now. Uh, rather than putting you through having having me figure out what I was going to do with them because it took me a little while to figure it out I'll just show you here what I've got so um, Stormcrow Prime um, We didn't do much change to this so we did we had a regular fire control energy in here So we swapped it out for this one here um, the double plus one that we picked up last episode uh, plus um, It gives us increased critical chance 10% increased range you know and things like that so that's just helping this guy out slightly not much uh, chance to hit will still be the same but chance to do crits will be increased um, so that's kind of a bonus for this guy and then let's have a look at we'll just go right down the line here so the cougar um, we changed this guy a bit I didn't realize I probably should have when I was putting the cougar together with the LRMs that the Artemis system that we had, and just now up here is a fire control system which goes in the head, it doesn't go in the body. So while it's one ton, I don't have to take a ton off to put it in because it's a, uh, it's a um, head modification. So now we've got plus two to hit um, with our missile weapons, with the uh, LRMs. I was gonna try and get the LRM-20 in here, but it just wasn't gonna work. So um, it's lighter to use an LRM-5 and an LRM-15. And because we got lots of hard points uh, for the LRMs, I just kind of left it this way. We're still short a little bit of armor, but that's fine. I think we're doing okay with this mech. So that's it for the Cougar. Then we had another look at the Adder, too. Now, the Adder had a large pulse on this thing, um, which wasn't too bad. But I wanted to change it up a little bit. It had weak armor, so we were able to max out the armor. I swapped in three ER mediums for now. Um, because it's lighter, we were able to get more armor on this thing. The LBX-5 stays, um, and that's it. That's really all we did with this thing. Um, it was really lacking armor. Um, so now it's very well protected. Um, so we'll be able to get this thing into more battles. But it's going to be our backup mech. We're not going to use this guy all that often, which means I might pull this fire control advanced system out of it. Not sure yet. The Grinner itself... Um, we only really just added an armored cowl to it. So let's go into it. So we put the fire control uh, energy system from the Stormcrow into this guy. So he's got plus one accuracy with all the medium pulses and the armored cowl. Since this guy's up front, uh, I gave him the double plus armored cowl that we bought um, between episodes. Uh, so he's got plus three injury resist. Um, just because he's up front a lot. A lot. And then the last mech, the Nova, we did a fair bit to this one. I wasn't really happy with the I, this just the single eight like the ATM loadouts on this thing. We ran out of ammo pretty much at the last mission, so I wanted to just make sure that we still had firepower. So what I did is I pulled out the ATM-12, swapped it out for an ATM-6, pulled out the extended range ammo, moved the ammo into the legs, uh, we, then we put a medium pulse in each arm and an armored cowl in the head for plus one injury resist and plus one initiative. And we added some ferro fibrous too, just to give it a little bit of uh, extra weight so we could do some stuff. Now this guy's not really 100% heat efficient, but it's pretty close overall. Um, we had to add a couple of double heat sinks as well. But I think I like this loadout a little better. We've lost six ATMs, but we've gained uh, the two medium pulses. So I think that's probably a, a good trade off. All right, so let's go after the general now. So, as I said, we're going to use uh, the Adder as a backup mech. The Cougar, I think I'm liking better with the missile launchers. So, uh, let's go right to the contracts and grab the General. And we're going to go full salvage on this. 
This should cover our drop costs and hopefully our repairs, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm pretty confident after the last mission we should be able to pull this one off. Um, that uh, our increase across the board has actually added a half skull to our lance rating, which is pretty good. So let's deploy this and get it done. Okay, here we good. Here we good. Here we go. I was just thinking in my in my head, good. It looks like there's only one lance between us and the boss. Keep your eyes peeled, Commander. This looks like an ideal place for an ambush. Yeah, I was wrong. My problem is I opened my mouth too early. So we got a lance. We got a face here. Second lance coming in down the road, and then our jerky jerk boss at the end there. So let's. Can we move? We can. So I want to put as much distance between us and these guys as I can. We're going to take this lance on first. So we're going to head off in this direction using our ECMs. Our ECM. Waiting for order. Quick stepping it. Don't like this map as much as I did the last one that we fought on, but we'll see how it goes. I've never actually taken this direction before. I've never really needed to. Commander. But, you know, we are facing clans, and we are clans, so we want to be very, very careful here. Make sure all our guys stick together. Okay, vehicles. It's these guys. Sounded like a fair bit of vehicle presence. Enemy detected. What did I say about opening my mouth? Like, honestly, guys. Sure it is. It's a friggin' um, fire starter with a gas rifle is what that is. Uh, they're going to fade back. I mean, we could try to sprint down this side and go after just go after the boss. It's a friggin' hatchet, man. But then I don't know where we get out of here from, so. Orders. Got it. Nah. Got a feeling this battle's gonna go long. Stick together, please. What do you need? Keep your I stick on the ice. Don't get beat. Pirate hatchet man. I thought we were supposed to be facing the clans here. Tails up with the pirate hatchet man. Well, he's in a position where we can take him out of one turn. An adder. Or oh, arbiter. Arinia, great. Long as doesn't, long as he doesn't have line of sight. Let's get on this hatchetman. He stuck his nose out, so let's bite it off. Firing. I don't know if these guys have full armor or what. Yep, sure as hell do. The stub nose PPC for close range. Okay, firing on this guy. Wow, 
Wow, man. Not even much better than the uh, medium laser's chance to hit. Roger. Um. I basically got six turns of HE fire. Let's just go with normal ammo on this. And firing. Can't get in for a direct shot, eh? I can from here. I think that's going to open me more up to those guys over there, though. Yeah, we'll hold off. Thunderbolt. Of course it is. I'm showing minor damage. Big difference between this two skull and the last two skull. It's only one vehicle over there. I want to know where this guy's going. As long as they start, as long as they stay behind that cliff for a couple of turns, so we can kill this guy. He's running. I don't know if you can see us or not. Got a pretty heavy ECM. But this guy was able to, so. Receiving you. On my way. Shoot. Well, we gotta take it now. Firing. Roger. All right. What are you guys doing? Kit Fox moving. I think we're, uh, let's move here and rely a little bit more on our ECM and try and take this guy down. Wow. Gonna use it. Firing. Roger that. Okay, what are they doing here? Huh. Okay, nicely done. Scored a critical hit. Ordinance received. Okay, what are these guys doing?
here's the thing I'm worried about forcing my way through and having lots of guns on me at close range but then again I don't necessarily want to stay here for very long because pretty soon they'll all be here and they can push but at least if we're here we can kind of go one way or the other if we had to Okay, we almost got that guy's arm. Wait, he's got light machine guns and LB20. 720 armor. I think, let's go after this guy's arm. Crap. There's that dirty thunderbolt. Our, our ECM is 240 meters, so it's pretty darn yeah. good. Um, Standing by. I'm there. All right, let's hope we get the arm. Got something? I think it might have been the arm. Reporting critical hit. Be nice if it was the leg. Don't know. Okay, firing on this guy. All weapons are cold. Nice. Got past his armor. Okay, he's oh went down and something happened. So definitely use an HEM on this next shot. Get up here. Let's go for CT. Fire it all. Confirmed. I have no idea where he's at. Yeah, our ECM is doing really great work back here. It's made a huge difference. Warfare sweet guys, as soon as you get one, make sure you install it. Alright, what's this guy doing? Come on, buddy. Okay, Kit Fox A. So that was the one with the Gauss rifle. I think, unless this Thunderbolt has it. So I think we have the Kit Fox A. I think we put that in storage. It had the Gauss rifle or something on it. Shit. I hate those Arrhenias. Yeah, I know. Come on, what are you guys doing? Orders. Down to nine on that torso. Move back here. I 
affirmative. <sighs> well, there's somebody else back there still. guys without being able to see that Arrhenia though Full let's switch locations targeting this guy fire everything I know it's on it's on on uh, rough terrain. Gonna fire these. Locked on. Wow. Reporting negative damage. Yeah, I saw it. Firing everything. This is going to be a long battle because I got an idea here. Wow, he's moved in really close. And we can't even see him. Do we go after the Serenia or not? I think we do. Let's go after him. Got to hit with more than that. chance to hit on this guy.
rolling. That side's fresh. I think we go after this guy. Looks like we pinned somewhere. Nope. Crap. Twenty-five, thirty, marginally better from the front. Up. See if we can finish this guy up. Hit with both. It's amazing how we have such a lousy chance to hit with a massive ECM. And he's got no problem shooting us every single time. Jesus Christ, really? Damage minimal. That's not minimal. How are you talking about minimal? Come on. If we can pull the Serenia down, things will change on, on our favor, I think. I, Christ, I shouldn't say things like that. It's just going to get me killed. Waiting for orders. Ordinance received. All weapons are go. Hey, like them apples. Okay, stripping the armor. We're gonna get down behind here now, I think. We can shield us from these guys. Aye, aye. Nope, we're gonna get right in on this guy. Got it. Firing HE rounds. Let's do this. Not having a good day. All we gotta do is hit that torso. Cougar should be able to do that if, as long as it doesn't get killed here. Fire it all. Targets taking a critical hit. OK. 
Okay, that's that problem solved. know if I want to push the boss yet though. They got three guys over there. There's the Arbiter. I think there's a, another Kit Fox and then there's the Jenner. Pirate Rack 2 misfire damage. Okay. It's good, good news for us. Yeah, let's push. We'll use this wall as to shield us, and then we'll sprint down out of here. Cougar. Let's shred this guy, though. Good chances to hit. So I gotta worry there's a Kit Fox back here somewhere and I don't know if he's coming around flanking us. Commander. He's just gonna come out of nowhere at any any moment. Let's get our stability back. Um Yeah, fire it all. Gotta kill this guy. We're gonna move in and go after the boss. I got a feeling there's two of them back here. Okay, heavy medium. Now I don't know if they've got if it's a Kit Fox and a Jenner or who's what back there, but we're gonna have to kill them both before they can get out of here. Thank goodness the Thunderbolt isn't pushing though. Alright, what are you guys doing? Oh, uh, weapons are go. I need a new target. Oh, we got one here in a second. So I don't know if this cougar was part of the original lance. I thought it was a, thought it was a uh, kit fox or something, but I don't know. Maybe it was. Oh, you sneaky cheeky monkey. I don't want to target that guy back there because if it's the boss, then um, he's going to try and get away. Confirm. Let's see if this guy's trying to do some sneaky, breaky stuff. He totally is. And it was a Kit Fox. <sighs> three lasers, 355 armor. Not a whole lot. We hit him with the HE. We've got like two and a half turns left of HE. Probably not. Let's just go with Nart. Wow. Let's go with 12 normal, or 12 HE and, and uh, 6 normal, and fire on this guy. Okay. I was trying to do some sneaky breaky stuff on me. Mm hmm. Like that. So we got to kill this kid fox. I think we move back this way. 
Mockingbird's on 23. We might be able to get around behind this guy. Just worried about back shots from over here, so we may have to come down into here and shoot him in the side instead. Yeah, so there is two of them, a Jenner and a Cougar. I don't know which one's which, though. This is a 2C. Bet you the Cougar is really the leader. This guy's his flanker. That would be my guess. Alright, what are these guys doing? Come on, man. LMG version. Commander. <sighs> no matter what we do. That's not too bad, I guess. Gonna have to leave some of our, well, at least one of our pulses off. Fire the rest. Taking the shot. That hit something good. Sure did. There's the other Kit Fox. Still that guy back here, probably the fire, fire starter. Unless I've seen him and it's not a fire starter, then it's not a fire starter. I can't even remember if I saw him back there or not. Alright, see if we can finish this guy up. Two hits anyway, there we go. Shadow Cat. Let's get out of there. I think we can't wait too much longer to move on the leaders because we're running out of ammo here. We short some firepower, so we need to do that now. Um, let's just move up. Copy that. Get into position to make a strike. Okay. It's nice that we have a little bit slower here. That's probably the Jenner moving. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know which one it is. Cougar or the Jenner? Whatever it is, we're going to get targeted by that Shadow Cat as soon as we move out of here. Copy that, Commander. Okay, at least we got a turn to cool off. Is this the Shadow Cat or is this? That's the Kit Fox. We didn't flank us. What do you need? I need you to get an ECM bubble, please. Ready for orders. Roger that. Venting heat and stabilizing. Standing by. Full speed. No target. Uh, this is going to be a bad one. Did 
Don't know where our evac zone is. Find out soon enough. Let's go, guys. Come on. Spending most of the time waiting for these guys to move. Okay, that was the Jenner moving? Oh, he's up here. Now, is that technically... I guess the Jenner must be the, the boss? Do I want to go after him? If we're going to go after him, we better make sure we can get out of there. Uh, okay. That was deceiving. But I thought we'd been able to see him there. I'm here. On the move. Okay, one more turn. Luce. Roger. We could crest and kill this guy down here really fast if we come around this way. God, Griff, you got a horrible roll. Where did that cougar go? Where did the cougar go? Man, we got some terrible sensors roll there. I mean, being in that valley nerfs our chance to hit, but if we move out here in the open, we're just like sitting ducks. All they gotta do is show up and we just die. This gives us a place to pull back to, at least. I mean, we could try and force it. Wow. That's the Jenner. So glad he can see us. Yes, Commander. There you are. Alright, dumping everything into this guy. We gotta do this. There's the cougar. Is this back to me? Probably. Ow. How much HE do we have left? 36, eh? 
We've got two turns of full HE, so let's fire it on this guy. Is he unstable? Solid connection on that one. God, not yet. He will be in a second. Ah, man, really? Okay, there we are. All right, Mockingbird. Waiting for orders. Vigilance, confirm, speed in. Stand on the corpse and hopefully finish this guy up. Oh, there's our evac. Isn't that such a good place for the evac? Let's take advantage of this. Sure did. I can't push straight through these guys yet, so we got to clean up, clean up the cougar in our backside. Maybe the storm crow, or shadow cat. I mean, sorry. See what he does. He's coming down. Shit. <sighs> that hit something important. Sure did. Barely hit, Commander. He seems a little bit upset, that guy. Yeah, we don't even know. He's standing right in front of us. We have no idea what the hell he's got or anything. Wonderful. Okay, we're going to do this, and we're going to do this, Gonna change this around to normal and fire. Yeah, it's fire on this guy, give him a bad day. Ooh, five hits. Nice. Ready for orders. Heading out. I got Gotta make a break for it, but we're gonna take damage if we do. Come on. I gotta get the bird out of there. <sighs> Reading 
you. Lost two medium pulses just there. Double time. Let's go. Damn it. Target locked. Slowly stripping that guy's armor up. We're not doing enough. Well, that guy's flanking. I'd love to be able to push that thunderbolt. Just not this turn. Ha, ah, man. I mean, we could just bail out in good faith. Okay, he's going that way. man. If we can kill our vehicle, we can make a break for it. This Kit Fox is in a really bad spot, though. Shadow Cat's not damaged yet. Okay, we got no choice. We got to make a break for it now. I don't want to withdraw. Make a break for it. Let's go. We got a GTFO, man. GTFO. Okay, who's going first here? Shadow Cat. Of course he is. What the hell? Gotta be side shots in this guy.
Keep our back to the wall. Can't get around behind us. I don't know how else to do this. Firing everything. I'm here. Fire everything. Still haven't penned, eh? to see if I can make it out of here. This is going to cost us a lot of sea bills. This will be it for the LRMs. Get some fire suppression on this guy. Almost out of ammo on this guy too. Okay, that vehicle's gone. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Well, it's nice to know that if I didn't care about the shape of these mechs, I could have, I could stay and kill these guys. I can't let this guy get it up and behind my guys. Almost out of here, guys. Shit, don't come up that hill. On my way, double time. What are you doing? Stormcrow, here he comes. Or Shadow Cat. Okay, I think we're okay. Well, you know what Thought did, right? Thought he farted, but he shit himself. Let's hope we're okay. Don't think we're okay. Yes. No, we're okay.
I think they've pretty much given up. Standing by. All right, one more turn, we're out of here. God, that was so close. Thank goodness for tactical AI errors. Reading you. Well, let's go find out what the damage is gonna be. Don't think it's gonna look good. Waiting for orders. We only lost two medium pulse lasers, I think, and a bunch of heat sinks. So not that bad overall, considering we were facing 10, 10 mechs. Or 10 units, anyway. Wow, that was long. Okay, mission payment increased by 33%, which is really not gonna cover our damages. Oh my god, this is going to be bad. So, Stormcrow ended up without a problem. Um, this says right torso. The engine may have been critted here. So we may have some internal damage. We'll have to check that guy out. The Grinner, we lost a double heat sink, the lower arm, and two medium pulses. We do have one medium pulse left over, which we can put in. So it's not that bad. I don't know if we have a lower arm, though. And then the engine core got crit on this guy, the e-cooling system. We lost two double heat sinks. Three double heat sinks. That's going to be a huge problem. So we'll have to dismantle, I think, the uh, the adder that we have to get some heat sinks out of it. Shouldn't be that much of a problem. I think we can go with a cooler build on it. So we're going to get to choose two things. As much as I'd like to take like LBX 20s and stuff. We gotta replace some things here. Beagle probe would have been nice. Like, oh god, this clan exchangers. Look at all this stuff. <sighs> Heat bank. NSS. Proto double heat sinks. Range finders. TSMs. TTS weapons plus two accuracy with all weapons. Um, we get two things. Is there any medium pulse lasers? No. There's just junk for weapons. So I'm thinking we lost heat sinks. The exchanger is definitely going to help. And then I think this, uh, where are you here? This thing here. Just fits in the torso. Man, I don't know. I think that's the way it has to be. Yeah, let's hope for some good stuff. Okay, Cougar and Arena piece, Kit Fock piece. Wow, ro improved rocket launcher, eh? Double heat sink kit, patchwork materials, that's good. LBX 20 ammo, yeah. All right, um, oh, it was nice to see Davian lost some stuff from pirates, or to the pirates, that's good. Um, 257,000, okay, that's not as bad as I thought it was gonna take, but 41 days is a long time. Um, and then we're going to have repairs after that. So we'll be okay for the financial statement. How far away? 20 days away. So let's manage our tasks a little bit. Um, let's get... Well, the Grinner we need some work on, so let's get that in next. Uh, was it the Nova or the Cougar that had the damage? It was the Nova that had the internal damage. So let's put that up next. And then the Storm Crow. And the Cougar last. So... Just kind of reflecting on that mission, I think we made the right choice starting off going up into the hills. If we had gone straight in, we would have been swarmed. That Axeman may have been able to take a toll on us. We were able to kill him before he was able to melee, which is good. But I think what really killed us in the long run 
was that Arrhenia getting those PPC hits early on, um, stripping like 84 off two shots of 84 against the uh, uh, Stormcrow, and he hit a couple of other our other mechs too, uh, and then we had a couple of other uh, PP or well, one PPC hit I think from the Thunderbolt. Uh, we had a Gauss rifle hit, so that stripping the armor off by itself was a huge problem. Um, but I think overall, I didn't think we did too bad. It could have been a lot worse. Um, that map, I, like I said, I've never really gone that way on that map. So it was a, I think it's the best way to go, I think. Um, but yeah, it's, it was just, an in, it's just interesting now with the new system, with the ECMs and everything, um, and the sensor checks and not and being able to shoot at your opponents at range. It kind of makes it a little trickier on that map. Um, because you can't hide. There's no hiding, really. They're going to shoot you from no matter where. So, um, yeah, it was, it was interesting. I thought it was, I thought that was a really fun match. So, anyway, we're going to leave it there. Um, so between episodes, I will get these mechs fixed up. And when we come back, we might be in a different system. Let's have a look real quick here. I don't think we did anything on the star map here. Because Wolf's got so much power. Yeah, Steel Viper's still at 1%. Not much we can do about it. But I think we'll probably go here. 21 days. This is 15 days. It's a half skull. But it's three jumps, so it's 75,000 as opposed to 21 days and 25,000. Although we might be able to make up the 50 grand if we move. So I'll figure it out um, between episodes. Um, but we're definitely going to need to move systems now, I think. Unless we want to just start taking really low-end contracts. Well, there's still two more here. We could take these, the escort mission and the repost mission next time we come back. But no matter how hard we try, I don't think we're going to be able to remove, remove Wolf's Hold in here. Um, we don't seem to be making much headway here. We've pulled off three missions now on this planet and we still haven't made any headway so yeah it's going to be difficult anyway we're going to end the episode there if you like it drop a like um, if you have any comments on the mission and stuff just drop it in the comment section down below um, if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe and until next time we'll see you later